Hello FIFA 15 fans, it's Heyman T, back with more Chelsea career mode. So here we go, moving on in our career. So the upcoming match is against Aston Villa in the Premier League. So we've got job offers, we won't be accepting any, not even from Brazil. Tournament prize money, players out for international duty. Okay, so let's straight away move towards the match. Aston Villa, their home. So here we are at the Villa Park for Aston Villa vs Chelsea. Let's have a look at the team. Guzan as the goalkeeper. Kozak in the front along with Benteke and Enzongia. Marco Royce playing very well currently. So we start off with an attack. Diego Costa gets the ball back to Royce. Rice with a great through ball, Diego Costa gets it, he's in the clear, he shoots, and what a goal! It's 1-0 in the starting 18th minute of the game, Chelsea leading by 1 now, what a great finish, right into the bottom corner, Guzan couldn't move from his place. And Aston Villa coming up with an attack. Zuma with such a bad defending. He gives away the ball to Carlos Sanchez. Which is converted into a goal by Kozak. And what the fuck are we doing? So Aston Villa players celebrate. The crowd celebrates. Cheering their home team. Look at that. Zuma with some bad defending. And Kuta couldn't do anything from such a close range. So it's one all in this match. Aston Villa coming up with another attack. Delft with the ball. Passing it to Darren Bent. What a shot but even better save by Kuta. The ball was going into the corner. But what a save. That's why he's the best. Now we are in the second half, Royce on a counter attack, good tackle, Ivanovic with the pass, Marco Royce gets it back into the middle towards Costa and yes, the ball rolls into the goal and it's 2-0, look at that form, Diego Costa scores his second and makes it 2-1 for Chelsea, giving us the lead. The ball was almost saved by Guzan, but it rolls under him into the goal. So the top scorer with 20 goals. Marco Reyes again with the ball. Like Remy in the play, he has been substituted in. And this time a shot, but what could say by Guzan? This time he denies the Chelsea players. And substitutions coming up. Shala with the ball. Trying some skills, shakes off one defender, what good skills. Time to cross it in, right Remy, no. And Guzan catches it. So the full time whistle blows. And the match ends up for a win for Chelsea. 2-1 win against Aston Villa at their home. So here are some other fixtures. So a great beginning to our day with a win. So moving on, oh, it's a big match, quarterfinals, UEFA Champions League against PSG. Let's have a look at their players, look at that, David Luiz is there, 84 overall, went there from our team only, gives our praises for Ibrahimovic, he is one of the best strikers in this Whoa, so a big match. Let's move towards it. So it's a home match for us. We are at the Stamford Bridge for this Champions League fixture. Chelsea versus PSG. So have a look at our team. The usual starting 11. Only change is Mikel coming in. And Marco Royce is not playing today. Diego Costa with the ball and he shoots oh just past the post 
this was a good chance but close so PSG coming up with an attack Lavezzi with the ball oh Mata with a shot he was all alone he goes to the ground with disappointment he thought he scored but Peter Cech with some save Aspilcreta with a throw in towards Oscar and this time denied by and Dankovic again great save Cuadrado with the ball a through ball David Luiz with the clearance but they get it back Oscar again passing it to William William coming towards the box and back to him into the middle good save but Ramirez with a clear opportunity there into the open goal and makes it 1-0 for Chelsea just before the half time boom open goal everyone went for the ball before Ramirez scoring his first in Champions League so now we are in the second half PSG needs a goal back Ibramovic good skills towards oh Kabai missing the spot close enough what we don't want is an away goal Oscar another through ball some shoving off going on and the full time whistle blows we get an important victory today in this big match so 1-0 leading in our two game quarterfinals this is good look at the other side Real Madrid scoring one goal against Arsenal so this was a great fixture so let's move on our upcoming match is a Premier League match against Watford okay so we'll give some chances to other players and Aspilic with a injured for seven days okay okay no problem so straight towards Stamford Bridge Chelsea versus Watford tonight here we go Bertrand coming in Ivanovic coming in Pasolic in the middle getting a start today so here we go so we get a corner kick in the 13th minute of the game Fabregas taking it Royce good clearance from the line so we get a stoppage and Mark Ruskowski has been shown a yellow card whatever his name is bad tackle on Bertrand and he gets a booking so resuming the game with a free kick pass ledge Mark Royce passing it to Costa and a tackle there and the referee stops the game again and another foul from this Watford team another yellow card for the player and this time it's Christian Batocchio who has received a yellow card so two yellow cards coming up in a short time and we get a free kick from such a good range one should score one and Fabregas what a goal amazing free kick that's why he's the best in this business the free kick specialist the playmaker Fabregas what a goal it was the keeper didn't even move from his place he kept seeing the ball going into it look at that wall creeping ahead no problem right into the top corner no one in the world could have saved it great free kick boom now 70 minutes into the second half Schuller with the ball in the wings puts a cross into the box Marco Royce this time yes this time he heads the ball into the goal and he celebrates it with style 
he was almost overpowered there by the defender but somehow gets a touch and into the corner hits the crossbar so a free kick for Watford into the box and Peter Tech with an easy save pushes the ball in front towards Fabregas on a counter attack Chelsea running towards the goal Costa in the front and what bad tackle another bad tackle Fabregas stays down no no shit he looks injured shit what the fuck is Watford doing they have damaged my best players so let's put Matic in for the moment and resume with the game oh what a bad tackle that should have been a red card and no card has been shown by the officials what the hell so full time whistle blows a huge blow a 2 nil victory for us but we've got a player injured an important one that is Cesc Fabregas he scored 1-2 in this match a great free kick so our upcoming match is another PSG match that quarterfinal second leg so four week injury for Cesc Fabregas bad news all over the place this is bad so Van Jinkle coming into the substitution bench so this will be it for today guys thank you so much for watching please send in your suggestions who should I play instead of Fabregas? Until then, keep watching other stuff. Thank you. Bye bye.